Good afternoon, DGF families. This is Superintendent Shannon Hunstead. Say, I just want to do a video update for all three of our communities and just to kind of let you know where we're at with many things, because obviously there are a lot, there's a lot going on here at the school. Uh, first is construction. I know there's many questions out there about it. Um, I, uh, I'm optimistic. Our, our date is August 2022 for completion. So that's next fall. We plan to move all of our elementary kids to Dilworth as was the original plan in this project and then obviously middle school, high school over in Glendon. Um, we are doing a lot of work. The board has worked very hard on this. Uh, I know there's a ton of questions out there. Uh, again, we are working hard every day to get this moving forward and, and to still finish in August. So we're excited about that and what this uh, facility will be like and the opportunities that it's gonna provide for, for our students and families. So again, excited, uh, challenging, and uh, we are moving forward even though sometimes it doesn't look or feel that way. So thank you for your patience on that. The second thing, obviously, we've had to do some resolutions this year due to COVID, influenza, made some decisions on e-learning based on weather. So we've just had a lot happening. I just, again, on that point, I want to say thank you for your patience and understanding. Uh, working through these is very very difficult at times for not only you guys as families because you got daycare issues and whatnot. Uh, it's also challenging for staff and students because we are helping, everybody's helping and supporting each other to try to make sure that your students can come to school every day. And that's, that's not always easy and it's very difficult. So I just wanna thank our staff for their flexibility and helping out and covering different classes. Uh, that doesn't make education the best necessarily but I think it's the safest for kids and it's best for kids if they can be here, um, obviously within reason. So again, thank you families for your support um, and your patience with that. Um, it's not perfect, but um, we just really feel that it's best to have kids in school and I hope that uh, everybody feels that same way. Um, I need to thank the school board uh, for their support um, through this construction project, through these e-learning days, the COVID and, and, and so on. Um, they've just been a great group of people to work with. Uh, if you have questions, obviously they're answering a lot of your questions, they're answering my questions. So I just can't say enough about our current school board and what they've done. Uh, our admin, our staff, uh, all staff, I just, uh, I can't thank them enough. Our, our transportation with all the weather we've had and just their patience uh, with me um, and with students uh, during those tough weather days. So thank you to them as well. Um, again, this whole project with construction <laughs> resolutions and COVIDs and e-learning days, uh, it has just uh, been an extremely challenging time for many school districts. And I just wanted to come on uh, personally and, and do this video just to, to show people how much uh, I appreciate um, everybody uh, and everybody's patience and understanding as, as we uh, navigate uh, this interesting time. So again, for me, uh, it's been fun for me to return back to DGF. I was here in 2000, or I'm sorry, 1996 to 2005 as a teacher. It's been fun to see some familiar faces, but also to see some new faces and families. Uh, I'm just excited about being here and I'm excited about what the future of DGF can be as we complete uh, this project and, and move our elementary kids together, middle school, high school, and the opportunities that that's going to provide uh, for our students, and which is, of course, why we're here. So just want to say thank you uh, for putting trust in me. And, I, and if you have any questions, obviously, you can always stop by my office or give me a call. Uh, have a great weekend and stay safe.